Hello everyone. It's such a joy to connect with you this morning and I'm so delighted to speak to you this morning. And my text is from Luke chapter 18 uh, verses 9 to 14. And this is how it goes. To some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everybody else. And Jesus told this parable. Two men went up the temple to pray. One Pharisee and other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood up and prayed about himself. God, I thank you that I am not like other men, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth all of I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Now, if you look into this uh, 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 small parable Jesus was talking, he was talking about uh, hypocrisy and this morning I'm going to talk about taking off your mask now uh, we see different people wearing different kinds of mask and different colors each day and we see so many masks different people wear and we see different colors also now that's a new normal right wearing a different mask it's a new normal and it is accepted by everyone. Sometimes we, it is so difficult to identify a person with a mask. We sometimes, I come across some people saying that, hey, uh, they say hello and hi, but it's so difficult for me to, uh, to identify that person. I, I would request them saying that, hey, can you just remove the mask so that I could identify. Now, as a Christians, we, we wear so many spiritual masks, right? And I'm gonna talk about the spiritual mask. Please use your mask to protect from this virus. But this morning, I'm going to talk about the spiritual mask that we wear. Sometimes we Christians are so good in that, right? We wear a Sunday mask. That's a holy mask that we wear. And on the weekday, sometimes it's like a casual or sometimes a normal. And sometimes we are just so different from this Sunday to coming back. To, to the weekdays. We are so different. We wear, we wear different masks on, 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 on our lives. And if you read the scripture, there's so, so much God hates hypocrisy. And I'm going to give you three simple principles about how you can overcome this hypocrisy. We all struggle. Everyone struggles with being hypocrite, right? And we sometimes, we hate people being hypocrite. And this morning, I want you to check yourselves. Are you being hypocrite? Are you being uh, hypocrite in some areas? Sometimes we act so different uh, uh, from, uh, from, from our lifestyle. That's not we who are, but sometimes uh, situations and circumstances come to a way that we act so differently. Like example, I has said on Sundays, we act so spiritual, but in the weekdays, we are so different. In, the, in our jobs, we are so different. In our workplace, we are so different. In our homes, we are so different. At, at our church, we are so different. And we are so different with so different people, right? And I'm sure that you agree with me on this. So I'm gonna give you three simple principles how you can, you can deal with this being hypocrite. Number one, be honest with yourself. I think there are a lot of things that we need to be honest to ourselves. Now, if you read in Genesis, now we come across uh, uh, Jacob being honest with God. He dealt with him. He dealt with God saying, God, I'm a sinner. When God asked his name, he said, Lord, I'm a sinner. I am, I'm a deceiver. I'm a cheater. He dealt with his sin. He was open to confess. Saying, God, I am, I'm a sinner. I think you need to deal with your sin. Be open to talk about to God. Do not pretend that you are good. No, sometimes we, we are like that. And it's a beautiful scripture I want to read from Jeremiah chapter 2 verses uh, 22. This is what it says. Although you wash yourself with soda and use an abundance of soap, the stain of your guilt is still before me, declares the sovereign Lord. No matter how much you cover up yourself, no matter how much you, you act, but God knows exactly who you are. So be honest with yourself. Be honest with God. I mean, it, it is so important. Sometimes it is so easy, uh, e easy to uh, uh, deny who we are, even to ourselves, right? 
because we act. So be honest with yourself. And second thing is be transparent with others. Let people see the real you and false and all because that's, that's who you are. Sometimes we act as if we are perfect in everything. We don't uh, sin at all. We are perfect. Holy Joe. No, I think you need to be transparent with others. Be real you because it allows you to live in freedom and makes it easier for you to affirm your dependency in God. And God's desire is that you be honest as per Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 8 to 14. We see that God wants you to be honest in everything that you do. So be transparent with others. others. And the third thing that we see is be honest with God. In Hebrews chapter 10 verses 22 talks about God wants you to come with a sincere heart. That's what the scripture says. So it is important, my friend, that you be, be honest with God because God knows everything. If you read in Psalm 139, he says, it says, I mean, that's what the Psalm says, God, you know my thoughts, you know my actions, you know uh, what's running in my mind. Even if I go to the topest mountain, you are there. Even if I go to the depths of the sea, your presence is still there. Just imagine what you can hide from this God. You cannot hide from this God because God knows everything that what you are going through, what you are. So be honest with God. As I'm going to repeat, there's three simple things that will help you to handle this uh, 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 hypocrisy. Number one, be honest with yourself. And second thing, be transparent with others. And third thing, be honest with God. These things will help you to, 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 to be real you. And God loves you the way you are. Amen. So God bless you. Have a blessed day and see you Sunday because Sundays are open. Uh, uh, you can come and join our service. So God bless. Have a blessed day.